Hey YouTube, welcome back to a new video. I wanted to try a little something different here on my channel. It's a little different for me because I don't typically do these type of videos, but I figured since I've been a little bit more consistent with uploading here on YouTube, I wanted to share with you guys what I've currently been playing. Honestly, my gaming habits are all over the place and it's always been like that. You know, I'll pick something up and play it and if I'm not gelling with it, you know what? I'm so quick to put it down and that's okay. So I figured, you know, once a month, I'd share with you guys the games that I'm currently playing. So here's what I'm playing right now. All right, so I have five games to talk about. The first one that I want to chat about, I'm loving it so much, for the PlayStation 4, Astro Bot's Rescue Mission. And the funny thing about this game is that um, I loved Astro's Playroom on the PlayStation 5 so much. I was like, you know what? Let's pull this bad boy off the shelf. I've had this for about two years. I got it on sale uh, for super cheap off of like GameStop or, or maybe Best Buy, but I got it for like 10 to 15 bucks. And I really wanted to play it back then. But those of you that have the PlayStation VR <laughs> headset know how much of a pain in the ass it is to hook up. Um, yeah, I hooked it up and I'm so glad I did. I am absolutely loving this game. I'm almost done with it. Um, I just finished World 4. Uh, so I think I have one more world to go. And then, of course, I want to like platinum this game because I'm loving it that much. So I want to catch capture all of the bots and do all of the challenges and just find everything that I possibly can because this game is definitely a VR gem. Um, just so simplistic, but it's so charming. The platforming works really well. I love the boss battles. The music's good. I mean, just everything about this game is a blast. Um, I... I just smile every time I play it. Honestly, I do. So if you guys have any recommendations for some VR games similar to this, doesn't require too much, um, definitely let me know because I want to start playing my VR a bit more. I got another game in the chamber uh, for my uh, PlayStation VR headset. But yeah, Astro Bot's Rescue Mission, really good. You will see this in my next monthly pickup video. It's Puyo Puyo Tetris to the ultimate puzzle match. I got it for the Nintendo Switch. I have the first one um, and I didn't play that one to completion, but this one's fun. I have absolutely no clue as to what is going on with this story. There's an adventure mode and I am playing the adventure mode and it's cheesy. The characters, their voice acting is just annoying, but it's Puyo Puyo and it's Tetris. And that's my, my jam. That is my jam. I'm not the best Puyo Puyo player. I'll be first to admit that. Not that great at Puyo Puyo, but I love me some Tetris and it's all up in here. And I'm having a, pl a blast playing this every now and again. The main game I'm playing on my Nintendo Switch is Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling. And I'm having so much fun with this one. I was in the mood to play a Paper Mario slash Mario and Luigi type of game. Um, and I bought Bug Fables back when it came out in the summer. And I'm just now getting around to it. And I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I know back when Paper Mario, The Origami King came out, a lot of people were comparing Bug Fables to that game, saying that they wished um, that Origami King was a more traditional styled Paper Mario game, like Bug Fables is. They compared it a lot to um, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, which I know I've said before, I, I've never played that and I would love for us to get a remastered on the Nintendo Switch. Don't know if that'll happen, but a girl can only wish, right? So. Yeah, Bug Fables for right now is as close as I'm going to get to that. Really good story. You you have um, three adventurers and the, ev like everyone's a bug, <laughs> right? Um, and they're in the search for the everlasting sapling. The queen is giving them um, these missions to go and find these artifacts. And their overall goal is to get the sapling. The writing is really well done. I found myself laughing out loud a couple of times. Um, it's just entertaining. The gameplay is a lot of fun as far as, um, you know, it's very similar to uh, Mario and Luigi slash Paper Mario. Uh, you have your time button presses um, and, you know, depending on how well you do with that, that's how much damage your enemy is going to get. Um, really cool moves in there. But 
yeah i really like it i'm currently in chapter five i just hit chapter five uh, and i'm not quite sure how many chapters there are but i know i've put about 16 hours into this game so i'm pretty happy with that um it's just a really well done rpg that doesn't really take itself too seriously and it's just a lot of fun i literally just started playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. Matter of fact, I took a break so I can come and film this video, but once I am done with this video, I'm gonna be honest, I'm going back to play me some more Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, this is the PlayStation 4 version, although I am currently playing it on my PlayStation 5. Um, I think the PS5 version is coming out within a month or so, but this plays just fine on my PlayStation 5. Just fine. Um, if you guys have been around for a while, you know <laughs> that I like me some Yakuza. I love me some Yakuza. Uh, I've streamed several of the games. Uh, I won't say several. I've streamed a couple of the games over on Twitch. And um, there's just something about the series, boy. I mean, I, I'm into the characters and, and um, you know, just the overall soap opera, soap opera aspect of it. I am into it. I'm for it. I'm all for it. Um, I've maybe put I was sitting there for like an hour or so playing this um and we all know how Yakuza games start off super cutscene heavy uh, in the beginning of of uh, these games and I gotta tell you that cutscene the first cutscene just totally pulled at my heartstrings I'm not gonna spoil it but if you've played this game you know um and I was just like I I need to know what's going on what's gonna happen um Ichiban, who's the main character in this game, um, seems really cool. You know, I really like him so far. Uh, again, not even two hours into the game, but I really like him. He loves Dragon Quest, and uh, I respect his love of that se <laughs> of that series. It just seems fun, um, which I'm all about, you know. I respect the fact that, um, you know, Sega has turned a beat-em-up, essentially a beat-em-up, into a turn-based RPG. I've done a couple of uh, battles, haven't gotten too heavy into it, still rather linear because I'm super early on, um, but it feels really good. And it's cheesy and it's fun and it's more Yakuza with just a different spit on it. Last but not least is a game that I plucked off of my shelf. Um, I just wanted to try something different I bought this years ago when it first came out and uh, I tried it back then maybe 20 minutes and I was like, nah, I can't. I can't. I literally can't. Um, but I figured now was the perfect time to give Bloodborne another chance, right? Uh, I am currently streaming this over on Twitch. So if, you know, you're interested in watching me fumble my way <laughs> through Bloodborne, please follow and, um, you know, make sure you have alerts on or whatever it is so you know when I'm streaming. Um, yeah, come watch me play some Bloodborne. Um, I have a really, like, love-hate relationship with these Souls type of games, right? Um, Bloodborne, I'm just going to specifically speak about Bloodborne. Bloodborne is my jam as far as the atmosphere goes oh my gosh it's crazy i'm like i said i'm streaming it so i'm usually i'm playing with headphones the sound design is bananas this might as well and i've said this several times on stream this just should be a survival horror game because the amount of jump scares that i've encountered and the ah that i've done the amount of ahs that i've done and oh my god um Boy, it should be like, you would think that it's like Silent Hill or something. It's crazy. Um, so that's what I love about it. I, I love that about it. I love the atmosphere. I love the, the just like the enemy design looks really good. Some of those um, enemies look like batshit crazy. Um, I really love that about it. What I don't like. And this is what has kind of um, made me not really get into the Souls games is that it gives you absolutely no direction at all, right? Um, and I'm not one for, I don't need a game to hold my hand. You know, you don't have to necessarily point me in the direction. Maybe I can point me in the direction, but you don't necessarily need to be blink blatant about it, right? Um, but this is like 
these souls games are totally like the other end of the spectrum they tell you absolutely nothing um like some of the items in in this game and i'm sure this is similar to all the other souls games it's like what the hell does this do like what's the purpose of this um i don't know where i'm going <laughs> but i don't know if i'm going in the right direction uh i don't know necessarily what's going on like and i've asked this to people on stream who have been super kind um and they've definitely given me some tips and putting me in the, the right direction but it's like everyone loves this game and so far don't get me wrong like i am enjoying it i've learned to be a little bit more patient um i'm really enjoying my time with bloodborne and i know i'm gonna stick through with it and complete it because I am having a blast with it. They keep telling me that, um, you know, once you get it down, you know, it's going to click. You keep playing and it'll click and it's boom. It's just like fly by night. It's going to be so much better. Uh, and I won't feel as overwhelmed. But I just feel like I, everything that I do is wrong, <laughs> you know. Um, but again, it's all these type of games are all like trial by error, you know, trial and error. And um, I just have to be patient and 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 chill and try to just like explore um so yeah bloodborne is really fun um the the main reason why i picked this up because is because i do want to get the demon souls remake on the playstation 5 actually i want to get into the souls game in general because they look like they're really fun i'm having a blast with bloodborne right um so yeah i mean i'm, I'm working my way through that game hopefully i'll have it done uh but Guys, please come follow me over on Twitch. If you love these Souls type of games, please come over to Twitch and um, definitely watch me play or fumble my way. <laughs> I'll say fumble, fumble my way through uh, Bloodborne. I just realized that I'm currently playing three RPGs, which is bananas, but I guess that's just the way that it worked out. So yeah, guys, those are all the games that I'm currently playing. I would love to know what you're playing. Let me know in the comment box below. Let me know if you have any tips for, for Bloodborne or if, you know, you've played any of these games and, you know, just want to say how much you love them. I appreciate all of you guys for watching this video and I'll check you next time. Peace.